when I was a child, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. You know, when I went to Lehigh, I, you know, went there for engineering as well as baseball. Playing a uh, Division One sport is very demanding, and it definitely makes it challenging you know, being in engineering. So my GPA uh, did take a little bit of a hit. I think I always say, you know, if I had to do it all over again, uh, you know, 10 out of 10 times, I would choose to, to also be active in, uh, in athletics as well. So talking specifically about the ASC Mealic project on hot rolled asymmetric steel I-beams, uh, the big picture goal is to improve the speed, efficiency, and economy of building floor systems. So that's that's our long-term vision. Uh, we believe if we you know do an adequate job and show the value um, of producing an asymmetric shape, and we do have at least preliminary interest from uh, a few of the U.S. mills that you know eventually uh, these sections will be produced, and 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 part of that long-term vision is to have uh, a new table in part one of the AISC manual on these uh, hot rolled shapes, which we call uh, A-shapes. So a number of years ago, I you know, focused in on this idea. I'm sure I'm not the first, but um, saw a lot of applications where we were you know, building up I-shapes and just thought it would know, be much more efficient and be faster if we could just have a rolled shape um, even cases where we use wide flange shapes that, you know, be much more efficient to have, you know, an asymmetric shape where one flange was, you know, significantly bigger than the other. Um, so then I started doing my homework. And of course, it's not in part one of the ASC manual and started talking to a number of the major mills. And they pointed out, of course, the challenges with manufacturing a shape like that. And I, I found that as some interesting, you know, you know research uh, related uh, topics. Um, but none of them in the U.S. really produce any such shape. And in, even internationally, our, our review found that there are a few mills that produce it on a limited basis, some asymmetric eye shapes, but there's not a lot out there. Um, so we decided, you know, I decided to take this on and uh, try and figure out, you know, the way to make this uh, efficient enough for future production. And our near-term focus is really on low-profile building floor systems. We think, you know, we can minimize the floor-to-floor -floor height and increase the speed of production, particularly with getting away with a lot, you know, removing a lot of that fabrication and just using a, a hot rolled shape. So our concept that we're studying in the near term is uh, pretty similar to some other um, concepts out there, but the, you know, the steel shape, the A shape, we call it asymmetric uh, steel I shape, is having the uh, precast panels, you know, being supported by these beams on the top of the bottom flange. And, you know, we're looking at precast panels. We're also gonna look at you know, some deep deck cast in place slab options. So um, in the end of this first year uh, with the Melec project, we're going to be doing a full system testing of one concept in the lab and in parallel, um, another student's gonna be looking at some uh, numerical parametric studies and uh, even some, you know, some optimization of, of some cross sections. So my official answer is I don't have a secret to success. Um, I, I do believe the modest success that I have had, um, I can really attribute to four main areas that I, at least I strive to achieve. And uh, the first is to be hardworking. I, I believe that 90% uh, of life really is just showing up and, and putting in the work. The second would be uh, organization and planning. You know, I, I, in my world, you know, especially with the research and teaching, you gotta be well organized and your class should be extremely well organized, not to confuse the students to, on the research side, everything from the equipment in the lab to um, you know, the way the product's planned out. And third one is listening. You know, uh, I feel like uh, sometimes you know, we're all sort of talking past each other. For my research, especially when I'm working for different agencies um, or organizations, I wanna really listen and understand what their problems are, um, understand their constraints and, and try and put myself in their shoes. And then the fourth, which is the biggest for me that I really strive for, is balance um, and this is you know work-life balance to balance of course within each of those those four areas of what i'm you know uh, i feel like i've i've gotten better at and it's helped me be somewhat successful and i continue to strive and improve in all you know all four of those areas mm -hmm.